Now we go to Alan, and then we'll be back to you. Correct? Right? Okay. Any questions on Megan's report? <laughs> I am not Megan. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't call Megan. We know. Sir. That's Alan? why we don't have more questions. <laughs> Uh, Madam Chairman, Board, uh, we'll just go through some of our uh, projects. We'll talk about existing industry project reform first and then existing industry and an update on some of our existing industry expansions. Um, project Maroon, you're aware of Project Maroon, that's our bioscience project. It is on track, it's on schedule. We've done all the things that we need to do. We're just waiting for that project to develop as it goes forward. Uh, and as I said, that's a, that's a bioscience project. We have picked up a new uh, Georgia Department of Economic Development sponsored project. It is Project Royal. It's logistics distribution. It's a company that's looking for a presence in the southeast along the I-75 corridor to service their markets in the southeast. We've uh, provided an, an initial overview of information to them and we're working now with the state project manager on a site selection team visit which we would hope to be able to host in about the next 30 days. So that's a good logistics distribution project uh, that we're working. I want to mention, uh, I'm, I'm, this, this is really from a site selection consultant visit that we did last week. I put a project name on it, Project Orange. It's a significant agricultural related project. We hosted two state project managers and a site selection consultant uh, for a visit to the community. We showed them two potential sites, one in one of our uh, grad certified uh, business parks and another site outside of the park. Um, I think they were impressed with what they saw. We sent them some follow-up materials, so we'll continue to work that project. So that's a good agriculture-based product that project that could be coming to us. Could you give us ideas perhaps on the number of jobs on Royal and Orange? I, I can give you uh, on Royal, I can I can tell you number of jobs could be in the range of 250 as a max. I don't have a capital investment on that one yet. For Project Orange, I don't have that information yet. We've asked for that. Uh, it's a little early in the game for us to have that information. Thank so it's you. early days for that. Now, given that we, we've kind of positioned ourselves as a logistics center, and as I think about this Project Royal, is there anything that we can do differently as a board to kind of capture these folks' fans? I mean, can, can we put on more of a rich to get these people to do an early commitment? What is it that's that way in the checkbook in front of them? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I would tell you based on our experience and the feedback that we get, um, I think we're, we're hitting the sweet spot for what they want to see in the initial visits. We're giving them a very objective assessment of where we are in the region and what our strong suits are. Uh, and also, we are showing them properties that they are impressed with. So if you're a logistics distribution and you come to Valdosta and you look at Westside, or you look at Bassford if you need Rayville, uh, it's impressive to see what is there in terms of the logistics distribution facility. Is there any way that we could, without violating any of our laws that apply to open meetings, have all board members present during their visit at a dinner or any kind of function? We, we always look for opportunities to do that. We ask, you know, during the site visits when we schedule those, can we host those dinners so that you can be involved and perhaps the chairman or the mayor or other folks can be involved. We would do that as a matter of course. We are early days in that process with these projects at this point. You know, and what I'm thinking is, that, you know, we need the full court press really early on. Now, I think it's critical for this community to just, you know, put the full court press on at the outset and just be unrelenting. And, and I'm sure Madam Chairman will, will probably do anything that's reasonable and necessary. Well, we'll take that advice and guidance and and push that full court press to the max extent. Just know the board's ready to do whatever if called on. Thank you. Absolutely. We, we understand we that. Know. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Cuthman. Uh, you can see the existing industry report uh, or visit uh, report here. Uh, we've got about two more that we will do this month. It's early in the month. So again, all those 
visits, we're looking for opportunities for growth, and we're also looking to identify some issues. In fact, on a couple of these, we did identify some issues that we're going to work with visibility for truck traffic. Uh, coming into and out of some of our parks. So we were scheduled this morning to do some pruning with the city arborist, but we were not able to do that. So we've rescheduled that for Thursday. So if the weather holds off, we'll, we'll take care of that. So it's always good on those existing industry visits to identify issues that we can help resolve. On some existing industry expansion projects, let me start with some really good news. Uh, you'll recall our Express Scripts project uh, that we worked last year. We brought 135 jobs into the community. Those were paying good wages with full benefits packages. And you know that we were working with Express Scripts on an additional hire. So now I'm happy to tell you that Express Scripts is moving forward with that additional hire of 175 customer service representatives. Okay. We're already working with Georgia DOL Training Center. Uh, training classroom space has been, has been arranged. The announcements are already out or for applications to be taken. Uh, we're looking to begin the first training cohort the first week of May, and those will run through the end of December. And I can tell you that what Andrew and I have been told from Express Scripts is they, they had a very successful first round in this community. Um, and they got lots of great applicants and they're looking for that to continue. So that's 175 jobs that we'll be working over the course of the next seven months from Express Scripts. And before that it was 135? 35. And before that, wasn't there some even earlier than that or is that? The that, was the first first that, that was the first thing. That was the first thing. It was in several yes. steps. But okay. yes. well, that is excellent news. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That is, that is good news. Uh, just a couple of things on some other projects. Project Wire, you know that's a manufacturing project, a company that does automotive components. We are, we are moving steadily forward uh, with that. We've uh, got some uh, financial capital in place now for the project. We are finalizing a construction budget now. I spoke with the, um, with the business owner and his architect today, so they're looking to refine uh, the, the building plan and the site plan so we can get a capital budget and uh, we're, we're moving forward there. We may have a little bit of an uptick in the number of jobs that they are projecting that they will be able to create with this expansion. So we'll keep you posted on that. Project Treadway, which is a logistics distribution service project, uh, that project remains in, in progress. We are still negotiating economic development agreement and indenture of lease documents. And so there's some clarification that we need to make with, uh, with the prospect as we go forward. Uh, we expect to do that with a meeting that uh, uh, Ms. Ryer, Mr. Gupton, and I will have later this week with the, uh, the attorney for the prospect. Uh, Project Power Tech, which was advanced manufacturing. You know, we were working with a local company that has approximately a $1.2 million expansion in one of their major product lines to meet customer demand. And that really anchors about 18 jobs associated with that project um, for the long term in the community here. Uh, so I'm happy to tell you that we have that uh, indenture of lease document back signed. Mr. Gupton will address that in his attorney report. So that's uh, good news to report there. Let me mention Project Loaf, which is a new logistics distribution project looking in one of our industrial parks. Um, we've been working this project for about seven months, so now we're back with the developer. He is finalizing some contract agreements with the company that he's building this project for. Um, we're looking um, at about 11 jobs and a little bit over a million dollar capital investment in that project, so that one is, is moving forward nicely. Uh, project Coal, uh, which is a, uh, a project that we're working with a, uh, a local company seeking to expand their food production and processing operations. We are in uh, due diligence now with the property owner for an acquisition of that property. Um, so that is, that is moving forward with good progress. Those are really the projects that I wanted to mention to you existing industry expansions. 
all of those are, are in good position. Uh, I've mentioned our community business and industry partnership briefly. Um, you know that uh, we mentioned last month that we were hosting uh, some of our logistics uh, distribution leadership teams to the Community Business and Industry Partnership Georgia Logistics Summit. We did that. Uh, it was an excellent summit. Uh, some of the folks that we took to that made some good contacts and I think some good business development out of that. So we got, uh, we got good response there. I would also mention that uh, we did a, uh, a lunch and learn under the aegis of our Community Business and Industry Partnership uh, to talk about uh, really broadband capability that is emerging in our community. The chairman was able to attend that. Uh, we had about 25 folks attend that session. It was some really good information and shows us some really good opportunities that we have for fiber optics and broadband expansions, not only to our industrial park, but other existing industries and businesses. And in fact, we have one uh, existing industry that's already taken care of, of that capability. Mr. Chairman, I don't know if you want to say anything about that. Well, uh, thank you, but, it, but it's a great 